Hey, the lesson we're talking about today is measuring length of an object and especially objects that are over one foot in length. So with our assignment, the first things we had to do were on the other side of the page and we had to measure these items. And one of them was a pencil. And as we can see with this pencil right here, it is five and a half inches long. So on here, we're going to write it as five and one half, and you can either write it as inches or five and a half inches that way. They were also supposed to measure the length of the book, and length means the long side of the book. Width is the shorter side or the wide side. So they're supposed to have measured one for the buckle down book. This is a book that we have in the classroom. They were supposed to measure the length of a desk, a whiteboard that we have in the front of the room, a math board where we have work, the height of our door, the length of the classroom. And for this last one, Mr. Hatch's choice, we really didn't get to that one. So I'm going to cross that one off. So the, the lesson that we're looking at is that the length of the desk was 26 inches. The whiteboard was 36 inches. So a yardstick, three feet, plus 27 more inches. We'll come back to that. The math board was 36 plus 37 inches. The height of the door was 36 plus 36. And then the length of the classroom will work out down here. Now, for all of these, I ask for the kids to write out on the back of their paper a scale that looks like this, or not a scale, a conversion chart. And we're saying that 12 inches equals one foot, as, as we have with our ruler. But not everything is under 12 inches. If it's two feet long, it's 24 inches. So they should have this written down as a guide to help them in being able to convert the measurements in just a second. So the length of the book was seven and a half inches. That's under a foot, so we don't have to convert that. The buckle down book, the length was 11 inches. So we don't have to convert that. The I'm sorry, that was the length down here. The width of it was eight and a half inches. Now, the, this is the first one that we need to convert. So when it says 26 inches, we're going to go back to our other side. And we can see that 26 is bigger than 12. It's bigger than 24. But it's not as big as 36 inches or three feet. So we go back to the 24. We know that it's two feet. And then to go from that 24 to the 26 inches goes 24, 25, 26. So we have two inches there. So the length of the desk is 26 inches or two feet, two inches. The length of the whiteboard, when we go 36 plus 27, is 63 inches. So I'm going to look for the 63 on the other side. We know that it's over one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. It's really close to five feet at 60 inches. So we're going to call that five feet. And the 60 inches to get to 63 goes 60, 61, 62. 63 inches. So it's five feet, three inches for that whiteboard. The length of the math board, so we're going to do the same thing. One easy way that I, I do this is 30 plus 30 is 60. 60 plus 6 is 66. 66 plus 7 is 73 inches. When I convert that, 
I'm looking for 73. I come all the way down here, that's 72, so I know it's going to be 6 feet, and it's to go 72, 73, so it's going to be 6 feet, 1 inch after that. So on my conversion right here, this equals 6 feet, 1 inch. The 36 and 36, that sounds really familiar to this one, and it's one less. So I know that 30 and 30 is 60, 60 plus 6 is 66, 66 plus 6 is 72, which is that one less than that. So that's going to equal, one less, exactly 6 feet. Now the length of the room, I ask for the kids to write this down. When we measured it in the room, we used the meter stick, and the meter stick is 39 inches long. We had to use 11 meter sticks to get to the back of the room. So you'll, you'll multiply those two numbers. And then when you get that, there was one extra piece to it, which was 18 inches long. So you'll get this answer right here from when you multiply. And you'll add that to this, and you'll get another answer. Now, we haven't found out how many feet long it is. There are 12 inches in a foot. So we're going to divide 12, in, 12 into whatever this answer is you got right here. You'll put that in here and divide that number by 12. That will give you the length of the classroom. We want that to be in inches, but then we also want to convert that into feet and inches. That takes us to our assignment. And if we look at number one for the homework tonight, we can see that this is 58, 59, 60 inches, and then we have not quite to 61. So on here, if we use this chart to convert again, 60 down here is exactly five feet. So I'm gonna call this five feet. It's not five feet, one inch. And when I look right here, of these lines right here, this is one fourth, two fourths or one half, three fourths, four fourths. So I can see this is 60 and three fourths inches or five feet, three fourths of an inch. So on each of these, as you go through, you'll the student will answer these questions by looking at this chart and being able to make the conversions to feet and inches. Thanks for watching today.